Mm. This is just a follow-up. This is a follow-up and an update. Um, we made a slight error, an errata, an error, sihitet, when we said um, that the word for, we were speaking about um, gala, and we was told that gala means camel in the Afan Ormo, um dialect, and we had wrote gem, gemel. Actually, it is gemel. It is actually gemel, like the Hebrew letter. Like the Hebrew letter, if you go to Psalm 119, 119 and 17, go to Psalm 119, verse 17, you'll find in the Bible that there is the, the letter, um, this, there's this Hebrew letter that looks a little like this, a little bit, and this Hebrew letter is called Gimel, Gimel. So, I lay the bait, Gimel. Almost like A B C I left baked Gimel. So it's Gimel and not Gamel. So this is a little error that we had made and we wanted to note that it's actually Gimel and not Gamel. And it's a very important nuance and a very important difference. In our last video where we were just examining some of the information that was presented to us and given to us, we went over it to look it up in the scripture the number of references in the scripture to um, camel, both in the New and the Old Testament, especially biblically, and um, we got to find out our error and recall that what we actually put up there was uh, a sihetet was wrong. So it's not gemel, it's actually gimel, gimel, and this refers to camel. And in the Afan, put a quotation mark around this, the Afan Oromo dialect, because there's different dialects of the Oromo who were formerly known and for the sake of academics. If you're looking this up, you will have to look up more ancient sources under this name, Gala, which in the Amharic is, is written like this, Ga plus La, Gala. Now, we did say within the Arabic, you understand, we did say in the Arabic that actually it would be something like, it would be something like this, you understand, from the word gal, you understand, or some pronunciations say gul, gul plus la, you understand, plus la, you understand, which basically means no, you understand, or say no say no, respond no, regarding certain um, um, religious wars between um, different peoples, namely the uh, Judeo-Christians and the invading Mohammedans. You understand that some who said no were called the Gala, but we were informed that in the Afan dialect that this is actually referred to camel, which is very interesting because as we mentioned in the last video, that camels are not indigenous to the particular region we know as the highland of Ethiopia. They're more known to the Arab regions, some of the coastal regions, um, Somalia also, and some other areas. You understand? So to the Middle Eastern region is the camel, and the camel is usually used by migratory people or what they may call pastoral people or nomadic people, migratory people, which also further proves certain ancient Ethiopic sources concerning what's known as the, or in history, as the Gala people. But our main reason for recording this was to update the fact that actually it was not Gemel, but more correctly, Gemel. So this should be attached to the form of reasoning as a, a correction, that we actually offer this correction concerning um, the word camel in the Ethiopic in the Amharic and also links with the Shemitic. The Shemitic languages, you know, more or less have this, you know, Gimel, Jimel, so forth, and so on. So this is just a, a update about that. And um, please take this down and our apologies about um, that um, incorrect uh, pronunciation saying ge instead of saying good. It's actually Gimel. 
and it occurs about 15 times in the singular, the singular form within the scriptures in some very interesting places as well. So if you look up in your Bible um, dictionaries, um, camel, you'll see that camel is found in some very interesting places, including in um, Matthew 3 and 4, where the King James Version of the Bible says that John had raiment or garments that was made of camel here. But we wanted to point out what regions was the camel synonymous, the main, you could say, beast of burden or the, or, or the, the beast that was used for travel. You understand? And that can also help us to really identify who's who and where they actually have come from. You understand? And probably have migrated. Because the Ethiopian Christian Highland um, opinion was that the certain tribes of the Ottomans and Gala had migrated into that region. You understand? That region known as Ethiopia. But today there are certain Ottomans that say actually the Judeo Christians invaded their territory. So there's a, there's a little difference, a big difference actually, of opinion about this. So this is one um, offering of a, a solution to that, seeing that the peoples who use camels are not indigenous to the highland of Ethiopia, and the camel itself is not indigenous to that particular region, but more to regions of Arabia, more to regions of perhaps the coastline, even parts of Somalia, and even further north. You understand we find that in like the Levant, what's known as the land of Canaan and Palestine, ancient Palestine, and in some of the um, quotes in scripture, Abraham had camels, and we have a quote with um, Rebecca, you understand, um, one of the matriarchs also um, lighting or coming down from off of a camel as well. So these are some very interesting references there, and we hope to have the time and opportunity to get into them in a little more detail. So hopefully stay tuned. Give thanks.